Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Connor Sonoli, and in today's video, I'll be living like Elon Musk for 24 hours. It's currently about 7 o'clock in the morning, and this is when he likes to get up. He likes to get up around 6.45, 7, and the first thing he does is hop straight in the shower. So Elon Musk says that showering is the most important part of his day. He doesn't feel right without a shower, and it's where he said he has most of his best ideas, actually. So it's very crucial for him to wake up and then head straight to the shower. So ever since Elon Musk moved to Texas, he's been rocking the cowboy boots. If you've watched the, I think, Nelk podcast he's on, he's rocking a pair of black cowboy boots. And I have ones that are super similar to that and nearly identical, but I, unfortunately, I left them back in, uh, back in school back in Texas. So these will have to do for today. Nice boots. Thank you. And most mornings, Elon Musk just completely skips breakfast. He says he doesn't have time for it, but on mornings, he does have breakfast. He likes to have an omelet. I'm not gonna show you guys cooking my eggs anymore because I realized I've been like, every single video, both videos of Mark Cuban living like Mark Cuban and Jeff Bezos, I cook an egg. My dopamine detox, I cook an egg. And I think in all, both my vlogs, I cook eggs. So it's like, I don't know why I keep doing that, but unless you guys want the cinematic egg shots, I'm not gonna keep putting them in the videos, but I just thought that was funny. So despite being one of the wealthiest people in the world, Elon Musk still says that about 90% of his projects at SpaceX are about design, and about 60% of his projects at Tesla are design projects. So he's still very hands-on. I don't really know much about like product design, but I do know how to code a little bit from last semester. So for this video, I'm gonna be working on some coding projects. I just finished up this intense project. It was pretty difficult, but um, pretty proud of it. So that's, that's the code right there, let's run it. Wow. All right, now I'm actually gonna start the real project. Okay, so I haven't done Java in a very long time, and so I'm a little bit rusty, but here's basically the gist of the project that I'm working on. So basically it'll ask you how much, or what currency do you have, and I'm gonna say dollars. Then what currency do you want, let's do pounds. How much money do you have in dollars? Let's say I have 500 American. That's how much I have in pounds, I only need to put the little point to. Okay, so I know this project is probably not that impressive to anybody, but uh, yeah, I haven't coded in about five weeks because of the semester break. So next semester, I'll get back into it, and I start taking C++, so the point of me doing these practice problems is really just to kind of get the muscle memory back for writing code, rather than actually work on something like really complex. So yeah, that's the point of this. Don't make fun of me for being a bad coder, please. Okay, so pretty much finished the currency converter problem. It's pretty simple. I just added a while true loop, and so it has a break at the end, and then I have a bunch of if statements and then and or statements within those if statements, so not too complicated. But um, yeah, so I was gonna add a GUI, but I also just really don't wanna do that, so maybe I'll add it to a different project later on. But uh, yeah, I'm about to eat some lunch really quick because Elon Musk eats lunch really quickly at his desk. So I'm gonna do that and then get back to um, some work for other projects that I'm working on. So. Lunch. Okay, so a big part of Elon Musk's day is tweeting. He loves Twitter, he obviously owns it now, but for a long time he would still tweet anyway, and he does have the most liked tweet by any living person, and I'll pop it up on screen. It, yeah, I'm gonna throw up some tweets right now to you know really get that Elon Musk kind of mindset going. See that, Elon? Following you. So I had to make a Twitter profile, because I, I think I have one, but I forgot my password, so uh, there you go, go follow. I have no followers yet, but I will. There's no way he doesn't see this video now. I was going through my email just now and sometimes I get notifications when someone comments on my video and like, or, or a separate email completely about that comment and it'll just say, this person commented this. And so I just got an email about this dude 
who commented on my Jeff Bezos short. So my brother comments, terrible video, and I say, hey man, not nice, cool last name though, because I don't know, I thought it was funny. <laughs> and this guy goes, Connor's Noli last name sounds greasy and loud. Yeah, so basically he has Italian profiled me and my family, so uh, cancel Stormtrooper. Yeah, you're done, buddy. Elon Musk works a lot differently than someone like Jeff Bezos or Mark Cuban. Both of them work about 50, 60 hour work weeks, which is still a good amount of work, but Elon Musk works 80 to 90 hours on average a week. And this is actually pulling it down and tapering it down significantly for him. He used to work about 110 to 120 hours a week on average. And this is when he was sleeping in the Tesla factory. And while he has tapered back a bit, especially as after having so many kids, but um, yeah, he has a lot of kids. I'll pop up the number on screen when I'm sure of the number, but yeah, he has tapered back his work significantly and he still thinks 80 to 90 hour weeks are sustainable so this makes me feel pretty bad when I work for like a couple hours a day and I get tired so yeah Elon Musk is definitely not a you know shy to hard work I'm all finished with my work for the day and now I'm gonna go try something really cool something that Elon Musk would probably be interested in or well certainly is interested in and that is uh, driverless cars so San Francisco just allowed Cruise and Waymo two companies that have uh, automated cars to go driverless at night at certain hours so yeah, basically right now you can go and call like a Uber essentially with no driver. So we'll see how that is. There's no driver in there. Start your ride from the top. From my phone. It's cruise. Checking seatbelt. A few things to remember during the ride. Please keep your seatbelt buckled. Press the square button on the seatbelt. To end your ride early, press the larger round button on the ceiling and move over. Enjoy your ride. Yeah, it's like there's no driver not allowed in the front of this thing at all. It's a plastic cage keeping you out of the front, but you see your whole trip on the iPad, which is actually pretty nice. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting test because this this uh, truck is double parked right here. It's kind of hard to see with the glass because it won't focus, but there's a car to our right, or our left rather. And um, We'll see how the Waymo goes around it. It goes pretty slow right now. Like it hasn't gone above, I think, like 16 miles an hour. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how it gets around like an obstacle like this. It's rerouting. It's gonna have us go back because it doesn't want to deal with the the truck. So it's having us do a big loop. And that's uh, kind of annoying, actually. Rerouting again. Elon, I hope you're taking notes. Okay, so done with the cruise ride. We basically did a big loop because we're gonna go to like the sushi place, it's just like a random benchmark and then kind of come back with the other brand, which is the Waymo. But the problem with cruise is that it can't do a lot of things that humans can right now, which is like if you double park, for example, in the street, like I was trying to explain earlier, instead of just being able to go around it and pass like, you know, a human would, every route. So it's gonna take us all the way back, the whole route we already came just to go past, hopefully when the car was gone. So that's a bit annoying and it doesn't go very fast, but it is pretty cool because soon here, like things like Uber are gonna be so much more obsolete because of that. And then say Tesla adopts some of this technology, for example, then maybe you'll be able to like drive downtown San Francisco and then have your car just drive back for you, which would be pretty cool. So yeah, pretty interesting to see this like coming right before us. It's gonna be pretty soon when we're not gonna need to drive cars anymore. All right, so it's now about 10 o'clock, and this is when Elon Musk gets home for the day. And around this time, he kind of just spends it to unwind and watch TV or read for leisure. And he likes to watch shows like Rick and Morty. He likes anime a lot, so Death Note. And then I don't know what books he reads necessarily, but he reads a lot of books as well. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing for the next hour or so is watching TV, and then he goes to bed around 1. So he spends a good amount of time actually just kind of unwinding at the end of the night after doing all that work during the day. So Elon Musk actually really likes uh, Rick and Morty. So he is actually the voice actor for Elon Tusk, if you didn't know that, which is actually funny. I think it's episode three of season four. So if you haven't seen it, go watch the episode where Elon Musk does some great acting, just like SNL. All right, so it's now about 12 o'clock at night. I edited for a little while, and I also obviously watched Rick and Morty. Um, but yeah, I get to give a quick review today, the same day, instead of doing a debrief tomorrow. So yeah, I really did enjoy um, Elon Musk's routine. It was definitely very difficult, but like everybody else, I've taken away that I really enjoy doing work in these big flow state periods. Elon Musk definitely works harder than most people alive. He works for extreme hours, and he does it by choice. You know, he could be 
you know, doing whatever he wants to do with his time now. And I think a lot of people are really quick to cast judgment on people like this, but Elon Musk does work very hard, and he is, you know, someone in a position where he could just take his privilege and make his money and never, you know, be active, but he chooses to be. So I think that's a pretty admirable quality, and I definitely saw that by just trying to live a day like him today. So, yeah, um, in terms of how much I enjoyed this, I definitely give it a, you know, 7 out of 10. It's definitely difficult and definitely an acquired taste, but I definitely did enjoy getting a lot of work done today. So that's really good. And now I'm going to head to bed and, yeah, call it a video. So if you like, comment, subscribe, all those things are super appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.